It doesn't get any more tension packed than this. The 2022 FIFA World Cup final. Who is going to come out on top? We'll have all the action for you next on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Germany, and they take on Belgium. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Sané. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Tremendous challenge. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Manuel Neuer stands between the posts. Niklas Zule starts with Antonio Rudiger in central defence. Leroy Zane plays with Serge Gnabry on the flanks. And the focal point in attack is Thomas Müller. Oh, big moment here, Derek. Well, the keeper performing brilliantly. Well, that's just incredible. He reacted so quickly there. Short corner favoured. Müller. Here's Goretzka. Superb block. The starting players for Belgium. Thibaut Courtois is the keeper of choice. Toby Alderweireld plays with Jan Vertonghen at the back. Axel Witzel starts with Yuri Tielemans in the centre of midfield. And handed the task of playing up front today, Romelu Lukaku. Well, Kevin De Bruyne, one of the complete midfield players in the modern game. Stuart, what do you expect we'll see from him this time around? Well, for me, Derek, his greatest attribute is his ability to combine with teammates, particularly in tight areas, in and around the box, clever little one-twos, little passes around the corner. He's the player that could be key to breaking down this defence. Kimmich. Gnabry. Great opportunity. And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there. And played short. Are they going to forge ahead? He read the cross, but now must clatter it clear. Lukaku. Vertonghen with it. Axel Witzel. Witzel. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Well, the fact of the matter is, it should never be a surprise to see Germany in a World Cup final. But equally true is the fact that so many doubted Germany ahead of this World Cup. They have been terrific, they're here on merit, and now, Stuart, they have designs on lifting the trophy for a fifth time. Yeah, you're absolutely right. We weren't quite sure at the start of the tournament what we were going to get from Germany, but the manager has got the tactics right, he's picked the right players. There's a combination of experience as well. I think they've looked a really good team, and I've got every faith they will win this game today. Lukaku. Aiden Azar. Romelu Lukaku now. Axel Witzel. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Lukaku. Oh, could be. And it's in. We've just witnessed the first goal of this 2022 World Cup final. One to Saver.
Well, just look at his movement. He knows exactly how to find space, and it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal. So underway again here, 1 0 the score. Number eight, Yuri Tillemans. Serge Gnabry. Well, the pass not finding its target. Kevin De Bruyne. Lukaku! Well, goodness me, into the goalkeeper's grateful grasp. Axel Witzel. Azar. Here's De Bruyne. Possession and patience, the watchwords. De Bruyne. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. the short one and it's Azar's cross well the keeper wasn't fooled by it at all in actual fact Gundogan Jamal Musiala oh, that's a well-timed pass what a shocking pass really Lukaku. <laughs> Lukaku. And offside, unfortunately. Thomas Müller. And they need to get tighter. And he's through here. Oh, marvellous defending to deny him. What's he going to do here? Müller. And tremendous goalkeeping. Well, he just made it so difficult for the striker. His presence alone just caused him a problem. Short corner routine. Muller, really important piece of last ditch defending. Goretzka. David Raum. Opportunity to deliver the cross. And you need your defender to take charge. What's he going to do here? Muller. Retaining possession, proving difficult. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Well, it was so easy on the eye, that counter-attack, but no reward for them. Yeah, it was all good until the final effort. It just shows how devastating they can be on the break, though. Kimmich. Gnabry with it. Gnabry. Highly honed defensive skills and evidence from Gundogan. Serge Gnabry. Well, getting the ball forward. And a chance to whip it in here. Kimi. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Lukaku might fancy it, you know. And a goal! I'll tell you what, they're going to be very hard to catch now.
Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. So the ball rolling again. 2-0 the score. So the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. And back underway, no sugarcoating this one. A big gulf between the sides in the first half. Will we see a response from Germany in the second? Sané. Now Müller, just not looking confident in possession. Müller it's with Gundogan well read to ease the pressure racing forward trying to catch them out Meunier opportunity it is well last gasp defending but brilliant defending Teammates available. Lukaku. Really sound goalkeeping. Well, that had to be a goal, didn't it? What a stop that is. Taken short. Mitsu. And return to De Bruyne. Superbly read and executed. Serge Gnabry. Read it superbly to take back possession. And Belgium in a position of menace. Lukaku. Well, visionary passing. That's high-level goalkeeping. Well, that's a fantastic save. He's such a good keeper. Well, opting for the short corner. And it's Azar's cross. Wonderful header. Excellent goalkeeping. And unable to keep possession. Axel Witzel and fed forwards. Witzel. Can he apply the finish? Nicely blocked, but he's got to get rid of it. Well, they can keep possession of it now. Lukaku. And clears the danger. And the ball with De Bruyne. And he's making progress. Tremendous challenge. And he has options available. Meunier. And now with Trossard. Well, showing excellent judgment to intercept. And continues his run. And it might be. That's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so alert there. So making the substitution now. Short corner taken. It might end up being a genuine chance. And a goal! to increase their advantage to three can they be stopped well here it is again and they go short just to get a different angle on the cross and then the finish is fairly simple in the end that's a good goal 
So the action continues, and Belgium really beginning to run away with this now. The scoreline threatening to get ugly. Gundogan and Havertz. Kai Havertz. And Germany get the throw. The high press was on, and that's a fantastic tackle. Well, the counter chance looks very real. All hands on deck. And now here's Aiden Azar in position. Well, how on earth did Manuel Neuer get there? They decided that now is the time to go to the bench. And taken short. Lukaku might fancy it, you know. But goalkeeper's ball, disappointingly for them. Leroy Zane. Havertz. Zane. Zane. And now with Havertz. Defensive roadblock in the way of that cross. Read it well. A quarter of an hour remaining here. Crucial interception amid impending danger. Oh, great vision. Sané. Can he do it? Doing the stifling, Toby Alderweireld. And brave goalkeeping to deal with the danger. Well, he had to get that right, didn't he? That's good goalkeeping. And he read it superbly. Müller. That's the kind of shielding play you expect from him. Is it going to be? Oh, marvellous defending to deny him. Gundogan. Now with Havertz. What's he going to do here? Müller. Really nice ball. Marvellous anticipation. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. And there to intervene. De Bruyne with options. Meunier. Is it going to be Meunier? In it goes! Such a complete performance. Four in front now. Well, let's look at this again. The cross just couldn't be any better, could it? Whipped into that danger area, and he does well to read the flight of the ball, to be fair. Almost just cushions it beyond the goalkeeper, and that seems to catch him off guard. A really good controlled finish. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Well, that's really strong play to keep hold of the ball. Meunier. The defender doing his job. Yeah. Well, opting for the short corner. And still dangerous. De Bruyne. On to Tielemans. Gnabry with it. Kimmich. Havertz. And now the final whistle. There'll be a new name on the trophy in 2022. That's of Belgium. They won the World Cup.
Well, what a performance, not just today, but throughout the tournament. They've been great. Belgium, the world champions. We wondered if this might be Belgium's year, and it is. Well, they've waited a long time. There have been players that everybody expected to win trophies. Now they've done it. What a night for these players here.